It's amazing being here. This is my first time on the continent of Africa. Um, and so already like the energy is awesome. Being at this Comic Con is awesome. Um, everybody's so sweet here. Like I really love starting my days with these panels and everybody getting like all riled up. So it's been sweet, yeah. I have a martial arts background. Um, I'm a black belt. Um, I did karate for 13 years. Um, and so I've always wanted to be able to implement that. Like I, I used to, like there was a while I wanted to go into the Olympics once karate made it back into the Olympics. Um, but if, in lieu of that, I wanted to be able to use it. Like, you know, it was it was a big part of my life. Um, so any chance that I got to do my own stunts, I was like, yo, let me in there. Um, yeah, and like just being an athlete, like I played basketball for 12 years as well. So just, I like to be active. Um, and yeah, it's like, I want to also be able to inspire other young girls to be like, yo, we can be like, we can be stunt, we can do stunts, we can be Tom Cruise out here, you feel me? Like, let's do it. Um, yeah, and just show that we're tough as well. I'm open to, I guess, I guess almost anything. Um, I, I, I'm very particular about the roles that I take um, in terms of either what that role is offering me and, and the challenge that I can get as an actor of like, of, of trying something new and tackling something new or what that role is offering the audience, whether that be the message is essentially that it's sending the audience, um, what somebody's gonna walk away with. I want that to be, if not always positive, then at least constructive um, and give somebody something to think about. So I watched the original Sabrina the Teenage Witch like faithfully, me and my brother did growing up. So I was mind blown. Like I was like, no way, my childhood is coming true. Um, so that was super sick. And then for Uncharted, I felt like it was such a, because I, so I didn't play the games before. I started playing the games once I got on the film, and I like once I realized like the fandom of the games, it was so much pressure. I was like, okay, gotta make and like, Braddock's not in the game, so I was like, all right, I gotta make sure I do these fans proud. I gotta make sure I do these people proud. So I played, I played the whole of the first game and the fourth game, so I could like really get into the world of it all. And so I hope I did okay. Okay, so I love doing voiceover. Um, Owl House, like. Oh, my heart, like, even you saying that, I'm like, really? Oh, um, I love it, because like, I, I was a cartoon head as a kid, like, always loved cartoons. I actually wanted to be an animator before I wanted to be an actor. Yeah, and so, um, stepping on to, to Owl House was a dream for me. And like, just, I love the messaging that, like, that Do that Donna put through that show, and the way that it's, it's inspiring LGBTQ kids, or kids that might be, like, queer questioning. Um, I think that that's really beautiful and giving them a space to think about it and to feel feel free in that and, um, to me is really special in today's time. I like animation and doing voiceover because of the way that I have to use my imagination. Like we record and then they animate. So most of the time I'm having to picture what's on the page and like and really fully be in the moment with it, which is fun. But then live action of course is cool because I get to dress up and like be like on a cool set, like in a world like so I can't, you can't make me choose. I won't choose. <laughs> I want to be Storm. I really want to be Storm. I'm trying to manifest that into the world right now. I want to be Storm in X-Men. I like to hang out with my pets. I have a dog and a parrot, and so I like to spend time with them. Um, I like to paint, um, and I recently started making music, so yeah. My parrot really loves my dog. My dog does not like the parrot. So it's a love-hate relationship that I'm like working on and I'm trying to get them like he adores her like always wants to like touch her and things and she as soon as he comes near her she's like no get away from me I was like Nas be nice he, he loves you so we're working on it we're working on it hi guys I'm Tati Gabrielle and you are watching Glitched